Cause everybody knows Zips is it Believe it or not Wow You gotta admit Any garment just 229 Believe it Zip, zip, zips It's the real deal no matter the weather, stay ahead of the storm with Stormwatch 7 text alerts. Sign up for weather text alerts now at WGLA.com slash text. You're watching ABC 7 News at noon on your side. At this hour, police are investigating two house explosions in two separate states. One happened in Pisca Piscataway, New Jersey, not too far from New York City. The other in northern Illinois, about 60 miles northwest of Chicago. Both happened yesterday, and one person was critically injured in the New Jersey blast. Two others were hurt in Illinois. More than 50 homes were damaged, and gas leaks are suspected in both cases. A warning now from police in Prince George's County this afternoon as temperatures go up, so does crime. Our Ryan Hughes checked in with the police department who is already seeing a surge of auto thefts in the region. Look out for the gold Chevy Impala. The morning starts with a roll call to get an overview of what happened overnight. And this board shows some of the biggest crime issues, theft from autos. The weather's starting to get warm. Uh, we've noticed a, uh, a jump in our theft from autos. The department is seeing a surge, more than 2,300 theft from vehicle cases this year. That's up 14%. So ABC7 rode along with Officer Jones as the department aggressively works to combat the car break-ins. Around 7.55, the first call comes in for a theft on Seat Pleasant Drive. Officer Jones talks to the victim, who says he accidentally left his window down and door unlocked. His radio, work clothes, papers, all stolen. Processing the handle there where you can see a, a thumbprint could have been from anyone, but there's a thumbprint on there, so we'll pull that. The thefts are mostly happening overnight. Crooks smashing out windows, popping locks, and like this case, victims are making themselves an easy target. Most of the times, the valuables are left out and open. Um, anything from wallets to laptops jewelry, even even change. And these thefts are happening so fast within a matter of seconds. And the best way to prevent them is to be proactive. That's why the department is now cracking down. Prince George's County Police are now adding more patrols on the streets and educating the public. We're trying to get it out to the community to let them know they need to lock their doors as well as hide any valuables that's inside their vehicles. In Prince George's County, Ryan Hughes, ABC 7 News. Okay, so would you unplug for a hundred bucks? One DC principal is offering cash to get her students to cut down on screen time over the summer. Diana Smith, the principal of a Washington Latin public charter school, is promising a hundred dollars each to her students who could stay off any device with a screen every Tuesday during summer break. That means no phones, no televisions, no video games, no computers, and more for one day a week. Parents do have to confirm the task before the kids can get the money. So that's something I could do, but I feel like put your kids in camp, maybe send them outside. Yeah, that would be good. Good. Activity. Cool. Yeah, I got two things to do. Two 20 year olds, I bet, would not take the hundred dollars. Oh, no. Oh, no, really? Taking their phone or tablet or computing. Oh, oh come on. You can. But have that's a great idea. Bucks. I hope a lot of kids take advantage. Yeah, of that. That would be I good. agree. Uh, I'll give mine away for hundred dollars. <laughs> I'll, I'll get off of it right now. <laughs> so it's all good. So listen, this is the second day. There's a little heat wave yeah. uh, tomorrow, day three, and then we'll get a bit of a break. Okay. So uh, we'll get through it. We have many of these every summer here. Some are much longer than three days, but this one just kind of a warm up, a little practice uh, heat wave for the DMV. So number wise across the area right now, we're looking at 87. A live look at the Rockville campus of Montgomery College. A little bit of a breeze that won't do much to cool you down. Humidity levels are pretty high. So combined uh, humid conditions with a current temperature of 92 in Washington at noon. It is plenty hot and humid. We're going to go up a few more degrees elsewhere around the area. Lower 90s, a few upper 80s. But I think everybody's going to be in the 90s as the afternoon wears on. Official highs across the mid-Atlantic will be in the low to mid 90s. 94 in New York City, even Boston at 93. So the heat is widespread. Detroit 91, Columbus, Ohio 90, 93 in Chicago. So we're not in this alone, but there are signs that it will break down on schedule on Wednesday. 
Our forecast low temperatures tomorrow morning in the metro area above the 70 degree mark in most spots. Uh, well removed from the metro region, maybe a few upper 60s briefly in the morning before the temperatures start to rise again. So our future cast will search for any signs of any rain that give us some brief cooling relief. Nothing today to offer, nothing tomorrow morning. But as we get through the afternoon, some indications there could be a few isolated showers or thunderstorms popping up. That'll be the story through tomorrow evening. Then into Wednesday morning, a cold front will get a bit closer. Now this is only going to take us till noontime when there's showers and storms, but we think as the cold front gets closer, four, five, six in the afternoon on Wednesday, much better chance of more numerous showers and thunderstorms. The uh, end of the heat comes in our five day temperature tread mid 90s today and tomorrow, then mid 80s, upper 70s back to 80 degrees. You get in the middle of June towards the end of June. There's no way to hold the temperatures this low for very long. It's just a matter of time before they pop back into the mid to upper 80s and probably the 90s again. So let's see how it looks through the Father's Day weekend. We'll have chances of showers and thunderstorms. We'll start Friday with those chances. Highs of 80 degrees mid to upper 80s for Saturday and Sunday with afternoon showers and thunderstorms. We'll cool off a bit, then build the heat back up. But by the middle of next week, end of next week, uh, our average high will be uh, 84, 85. So we'll pretty much be where we should be for this time of year. But trust me, we are not finished with these.